What is going on, Aries? Welcome to your weekly love reading. What's up, everyone? All right, let's see what's coming in. We're going to take a look at August 17th through August 23rd. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Aries. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future readings. All right, we're going to play a little game today. Put in the comment section your birthday if you want. Find your twin, your Aries twin. All right, I always like to see everybody's birthdays. It's fun. All right, so comment below. All right, let's see what's coming in for Aries. If this one resonates, the extended reading link will be below where you can go purchase your extended reading. What's up? Sometimes I say bad words. Sometimes I even do bad things like babe. And if it offends you, hard left. All right, Aries, let's see what's coming in for you guys in love. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aries, what's up? Coming in the current moment, what do we got? Ooh, daddy with the wand is in reverse. We've got the king of wands in reverse. What's the influence or challenge? We've got the six of pentacles. What's on your mind, Aries? Ooh, the lovers, sign of Gemini. What happened in the recent past? The king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got two kings here. Somebody's in reverse. Somebody's in the upright. I mean, this could certainly be you, Aries, in reverse, but we'll see. Why is it all going down? What's the situation? Oh, the Empress, Libra, Taurus, energy. Major Arcana, new, abundance, love, nurturing. Some of you guys are married, some of you are pregnant, or just having new beginnings in love. There's love, there's fertility, but somebody's on the out, it looks like. You may have cut somebody off, or they cut you off, and maybe a newer energy's coming in. What are you going to experience coming to the near future? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, a relationship probably. Something very traditional, stable. I see a lot of mature energy here. I think you guys have been dealing um, with somebody that's probably a little bit old. They don't have to be older, but more mature. All right. I don't see like F boys or thirsty girls here. Not for everyone. Remember, the roles can be reversed too. How do you see yourself right now, Aries? Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles, stable. Again, a lot of like strong, long-term, marital, I want a marriage, I am married, I'm going towards a commitment. It's very committal energy. This Queen of Pentacles, again, she could be a wife or a mother, but she is all about potential and value and stability. Very grounded, very nurturing, beautiful. So is the Empress. A lot of you Aries are lookers out there. I'm not surprised. What's coming in in your environment that you don't see justice, sign of Libra. Again, marriage here. Can be contracts within marriage. Something balancing out. This is what you don't see coming in. And as a result, you'll experience the Hierophant, which again is some sort of long-term commitment probably. But it's going to be nurtured. It's being nurtured here. What's in your emotions, Aries? What's going on? The Seven of Swords, uh-oh. See, I said earlier, I feel like somebody in this equation is getting out of something else or leaving an old energy behind and going towards something new and abundant. The lovers on your mind can be making a choice, a decision between two people, but really trying to be logistical about it. And you've got the Six of Pentacles here as the challenge. So somebody just was pulled or is being pulled in another direction, but it's about, it's leading to commitment. What's the outcome? What do we have? The seven of pentacles. Again, that energy of, did I make the right choice? I'm kind of waiting to see. I've made an investment in something new, probably, or again, long-term. And that seven of pentacles says, you know, looking back at this, did I make the right choice? You know, is am I going to be disappointed? Or is this worth the wait and the investment? What's at the bottom of the deck, Aries? Ace of Pentacles in reverse to a breakup or a lock of a new beginning with some sort of energy. So if you're on the if you're on the outs with someone or someone left you, you left somebody, something like that, you got something new coming in and it looks like it's moving towards a commitment. All right, Aries, let's see what's up. So this is the 17th through the 23rd for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know about love, please? What's coming in for Aries? I cut the head off of the Seven of Swords. Maybe that Seven of Swords deserved it, Aries. All right, let's see. <laughs> Trying to move these down so y'all can see a little bit better. I oh, know, Mom here doesn't have the best setup, but it works, usually. What does Aries need to know about their love life? The 17th through the 23rd, 2020. What's coming in for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is up? 
Yeah, you guys, make sure you hit the notification bell. A lot of people aren't being notified when I post for some reason, and that's no good. So if you want to see future readings, make sure you do that. Thank you for all your support. Yeah, guys, I thank you, and ladies, gals, and guys. Just saw that Queen of Wands, which is you, Aries, feeling pretty confident. Sexy, passionate, and confident. All right, let's do this. Let's see what's up. So we're going to clarify. I'm just using the good old traditional Rider weight. Overall energy coming into the reading is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. A lack of potential value, a breakup, lack of a new beginning. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the High Priestess, sign of Pisces, closing yourself off to someone possibly. Who's this high priestess? Using that intuition, but being very... Some of you had a breakup or somebody left you or you left them. And the overall energy coming in, mom's the word. I'm not saying shit about my next move. And the next move is moving towards something or someone else. What's this high priestess? Being very silent about it. Yeah, five of swords. Look at that. Yep, yep. Somebody's taking back their power. This could have been done to you. But if this was done to you, you're going towards something else. All right, but there is some kind of like, let me just go ahead and put me first here and take back my power, but I'm, I'm gonna be quiet about it. I'm not gonna say much about this is what this looks like. It could even be a situation of, you know, not telling friends and family, something like that. Coming into the current moment, we have a King of Wands in reverse, Leo Sag Aries, and the Ace of Wands. Could have been a sex only relationship. Right, somebody um, with that King of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Wands. This could have been somebody you were dealing with that was just about the wand. What is this Ace of Wands? What is this? The Page of Swords. Something may have been discovered here. You could have discovered somebody had their wand. Well, somewhere it wasn't supposed to be. Something like that. Page of Swords is typically a little bit angry. He's discovered something, whether that's on social media or whatever here. But now there's this energy of wanting to research other love interests, being inquisitive about something else. What's the influence? We've got the Six of Pentacles. Why is this here? It's the Six of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, female. So again, with somebody giving to this Queen of Cups energy, this is also you honing in on your intuition, wanting to offer that emotion probably to someone else. This Queen of Cups and the Tower in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy, and avoiding. I think Aries, you guys are avoiding someone that you're just not feeling it with, or you have this kind of feeling that maybe they're seeing someone else, talking to someone else, and you're going towards something new. On your mind is the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. Again, you guys have thought about this for a while. I gotta make a decision. I can go left, I can go right. It's matters of the heart and you're trying to take emotion out of it here and really reflecting and kind of waiting here. In the past, we have a king of swords. What's this about? Gemini, yeah, the moon. So you may have been dealing with a secretive air sign. Got the moon there with Pisces and Cancerian energy. What's the moon about in the past for Aries? The strength in reverse, growing impatient with somebody and just kind of giving up, not really wanting to bother, you know, getting tired, not being confident and just cutting somebody out that was secretive. Or what's this, uh, tell me more about the king of swords in the past. The nine of wands, protecting yourself, being tired of dealing with something here and just kind of pushing forward, being very cautious and defensive here because of an energy that was probably very closed off or just not uh, telling you everything. Situation is the empress. Why is this empress here for Aries? And the ace of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, going towards something new. That's why this is all happening and, and having a falling out or a breakup, not investing or seeing potential in another situation anymore. So just kind of moving forward. For some of you, it's a divorce, but I do see new love coming. Coming into the near future, you've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. What's this about? Yep, see the tennis. I just said divorce and look at that shit. There's a, unfortunately, some of you will experience a divorce or again, some of you will find out somebody is married and did you wrong. I still feel like you're avoiding this. You're gonna get out. What's this Ten of Swords coming in? Recovery, Four of Swords, pulling away and withdrawing from somebody who, well, did you wrong. Because right now, you're you're stable, though. You have that pinnacle. You know your worth here. You're not getting, you're not 
getting an overflow of emotion here with the situation. Who's this Queen of Pentacles right now? Yeah, see, the Nine of Cups going towards what you want. It's interesting. I feel like um, this could have been a third party situation where you were with somebody who was just deceiving you. They were treating you wrong. You're ending it. You're pulling away and you're going towards something new. Something that makes you very happy. And it's long term with that Queen of Pentacles. Now, in your environment coming in that you don't see, it's just as something going your way. A decision, a very important decision here. Um, that kind of balances out the scales here. Why is justice coming in? What is this? The emperor in reverse, sign of Aries. This is that person also that was probably married, but it's like karma comes out to play here. Dealing with somebody who just didn't have any boundaries. Yeah, the emperor could be you. I mean, it is major for Aries, but I don't feel like it is. What's this emperor in reverse? The hanged man, putting this person at a stalemate because it's the right thing to do um, is what you'll find. It's good karma. The hanged man is, is having enlightenment on the situation. What is this hanged man coming in for Pisces? Yeah, a missed opportunity with the four cups in reverse. We had it, but now we don't. See you later, four of cups in reverse, right? Because in your emotions is the seven of swords. I think if you haven't already begun to do so, you will avoid this person taking off, not revealing. You know, it's kind of one of, one of those, it's that energy of, I'm out of here and I don't really need to tell you what I'm doing anymore. What's the seven of swords? Yep, the king of swords. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Cutting somebody off, detaching, being very logistical rather than emotional. Your emotions are in check. Dealing with somebody who did you dirty, you're cutting them off and you're moving towards someone new. That's what it looks like. The outcome has the seven of pentacles reflecting here, looking probably at a past connection and comparing it to a new connection. I mean, you don't wanna do that too much, but kind of waiting and seeing if it's worth this investment. What's this outcome here for Aries, seven of pentacles? What is it and what is it not? And look at you, I love it when you end your reading. It's the big queen of wands. Getting that mojo back and feeling confident. I think somebody's gonna invest in you as well. There's an attraction, you're taking action. Whatever this energy is, you're not letting it, you're not gonna let it keep you down. What's this Queen of Wands here in the outcome for Aries? What's this about? Woo! It's Daddy with a cup. I told y'all you had somebody new coming in. It's a water sign, or they have water in their chart. There's a nice balance of fire, passion, and emotion. This King of Cups, whether it's a water sign or not. They have a lot of love to give, very mature. I felt that very early on, like more mature energy coming in. <clears throat> Could be a little bit older than you, doesn't have to be, but there's passion, you're gonna feel confident. This person's gonna make you feel loved with the King of Cups here. What's this King of Cups? What is this for Aries and the star? Look at that shit, a lot of healing. The King of Cups with the star is very healing energy. I think this person's gonna help you along your healing path. I mean, nobody can heal you, but you know what I'm saying. You're leaving a lot of troubles behind. You have somebody coming in that's going to kind of be that star for you. This is like a bright light. This is a wish fulfilled, obviously, Aquarian energy. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck kind of get some last minute messages there. Wanting to work together, collaborate. This is a very um, much of a conversation building. It's kind of that building block. It's new. It's fresh. After leaving something else behind that ran out of potential Aries. It's a beautiful reading. I love it for you. Let's look into this new person. Let's dive in. I want to see what's coming in for you. Let's see what the future love looks like. I will put that link to the extended reading down below so you can click on it, get your extended version. Don't forget to comment your birthday. I want to see everybody's birthdays. All right, you guys, I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back and we will speak soon. Take care.